Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, coming on to talk about Morrissey, legendary frontman of the Smiths, who is in the news once again after stirring quite a bit of controversy, doing what else, of course, but saying controversial things that people don't like. And when it comes to Morrissey, when he is causing a stir, it could be on a number of different topics. It could be the veganism, vegetarianism thing. It could be the Kevin Spacey thing. But in this most recent case, which is now being responded to by not only numerous music publications, but musicians who are Morrissey's contemporaries, uh, we're, we're reacting to quotes and ideas that are being characterized as uh, super far right, kind of racist, xenophobic, openly saying things like everyone prefers their own race and posting a pretty questionable YouTube video that has now been removed. Now, as concerning as what Morrissey said is to me, reading Billy Bragg talk about it, also reading Nick Cave talk about it, and, and just knowing Morrissey's history, I'm not one to react and think, okay, you know, Morrissey's off the deep end now. This is it. Morrissey's done it. He's totally unforgivable and unredeemable at this point. Because even someone who is just a casual Smiths fan, a casual Smiths fan, I've been exposed, pretty well exposed to loads of ridiculous and very questionable and silly things Morrissey has said over the years. So in a way I kind of struggle and I have a hard time reacting in a way that, that may or may not be appropriate for the situation when it comes to Morrissey saying something, because for me, it's just like, okay, here, here we go again. He's, he's doing it one more time. And I think there certainly is a tendency in the music journalism community to look at everything he says in a vacuum without looking at the backlog of his past statements that are also ridiculous, categorizing it as also ridiculous and uninformed, just like a lot of things that he says, but also looking at some of the better takes and positions that he's taken over the years too. However, I am sort of swayed to more of the opinion of, of being super concerned about the situation, given uh, Morrissey's recent performance on The Tonight Show this past May, which I wasn't even aware of because again, I'm not following every single thing Morrissey does like week in and week out. Uh, but apparently he was caught wearing or seen wearing uh, a, a pin of this somewhat far right political group for Britain, which after just some very light looking into online, it, it seems like the entire existence of the group is just to stoke fear <laughs> around the idea of, of Muslims living in the UK, immigrating to the UK. Seems there's quite a bit of xenophobia in the community of people following this group. And it would seem that to me, that from an outsider perspective, that there's not really any other reason other than that to support the group. I mean, I'm well aware that in the UK there have been a number of different far-right groups bubbling up, some of which are more vanilla than others and maybe have better rhetoric to kind of mask the more xenophobic views that people in the party might hold. In my view with For Britain, it's kind of naked and they're not even one of the more popular groups out there right now. So I can't imagine that Morrissey's wearing of one of their pins, essentially endorsing them as a political party, is, is occurring merely by mistake, is occurring with pure and total ignorance to why the group exists and what they actually stand for. And look, I'm not saying that there aren't concerns with immigration in the UK and that there's not a debate or a discussion to be had, but to merely act like all groups like For Britain are doing is just trying to open up the debate about immigration is kind of just turning a blind eye to what the group actually does and stands for and wants. And honestly, at this point, I can't say whether or not Morrissey is totally hardline endorsing everything that they say and their leader does, or if he's just kind of sipped the Kool-Aid because he doesn't understand the underlying implications of For Britain's actions. And I am certainly concerned about the negative impact that endorsements like these could have. So now that my concern here has been voiced, and I think there is certainly cause for calling out what Morrissey is saying, calling out actions like wearing this pin, at least giving it kind of a side eye. What I also want to discuss is this greater conversation about what is Morrissey doing? Is he ruining the legacy of the Smiths? Is he making it harder for you to listen to the Smiths? So on and so forth. In my view, the Smiths happened so long ago. And also, there was much more to the Smiths than simply Morrissey. Yes, people love his vocals. 
yes, people love the man's lyrics. And yes, uh, people think that uh, back in the day he was he was downright sexy. However, you know, you're completely ignoring uh, the guitar work of Johnny Marr and a whole host of other things to just simply boil the band's legacy down to whether or not Morrissey is saying something ridiculous today. As far as separating the artist from the art goes, I feel like we're not really given any bigger a no-brainer than crap Morrissey is saying now and music he made with his old band decades and decades ago. I would say that it doesn't even really justify throwing into the trash a lot of the records earlier on in his solo career either. If as a result of what he's saying now, maybe you're sitting there and wondering whether or not you actually want to go out and see his new tour or something like that, uh, okay, I can understand that concern, I get that. But I don't think Morrissey just being ignorant or being stupid on these issues is cause for Smith's fans, Smith's fans to just like tie themselves up in knots and turn every listen of meat is murder into a moral quandary. Because regardless of how heinous Morrissey's views are right now, that's not what the Smiths stood for. And I guess I'll leave it at that. Over here next to my head is another video that you guys can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Morrissey, what the hell are you thinking? Uh, forever.